and welcome to your gold market update for today friday september the 23rd mike smith senior analyst at gold markets here with what continues to be a very volatile week in financial markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news of course overnight we had a choppy and weaker session in the u.s equities overnight with major indices after a late sell-off now within touching distance of june lows U.S. futures are, however, mildly higher in Asian trading, just above neutral as we're recording this. Asian indices are following that negative U.S. lead. The ASX is the underperformer, having been closed yesterday, playing a little bit of catch-up on a couple of days of down days, and now down 1.6%. Other indices, not so bad today. European equity futures are pointing to a lower open again. And in the FX market, a very interesting day yesterday. The US dollar index ended up near the highs of the session after a very volatile day. There was significant movement in the Japanese yen on reports of potential Bank of Japan intervention on the currency, which saw 400 pip movements within about half an hour in the middle of the afternoon. Gold is trading in a $20 range above that 1660 support around mid-range as we speak. And all is weaker again, nearing support, but remains in that tight range. Copper is holding 340 support, moving to back towards 350, which was a previous significant level. The VIX is nearing at 28 level, and that represents three month highs, and also is reflective of the market sensitivity at the moment. Bitcoin was looking very precarious yesterday morning, but it held that 18600 support with a little bit of buying uh, on the back end of the afternoon and into the evening, uh, but still very much below that critical 20,000 level. Today, we've got global PMI data due across the board. Markets will be watching clues for the extent of economic slowdown. Many of the predicted PMI numbers are below 50, which indicates economies in contraction. That would fit with what expectations are if there's lower than those expected numbers actually come out we could see further selling be interesting to see how the market ends the week with yet another down week perhaps we'll see some short covering at some stage or some additional risk coming off the table at this stage very difficult to tell let's have a look at a couple of charts that caught our eye today so we'll start with the euro yen and we're looking at the daily chart you can see there the big move yesterday this was the case in all yen pairs on the back of that boj news if we just put it on a 30 minute chart you can see the extent of that and how quick it was we got further selling in that once the us market opened but then some recovery probably possibly a better profit taking on this we look as though we may be shaping up again for another move downwards and possibly in the first instance a move down Back towards to test this lows at around about 139 so that's about 70 pips from where we are now be interesting to see if this down move continues over the next few hours but there could be an opportunity there on the asx we've already referenced how miserable the market is as a whole there are very few stocks in positive territory however whitehaven coal ticket code whc continue to be strong a couple of reasons uh, energy does seem to be just moving slightly higher today and you can see there we have a break through this key level which we saw on wednesday follow through today and that was helped by a announcement of a buyback of whitehaven coal shares by the company so that's pushed it up well over that nine dollars trading towards the highs of the session and other coal stocks are following suit on the back of that trade safe and we'll see you again soon Bye-bye for now.